This is an example of a portable monitor that's gone one step further. So this is a portable monitor with keyboard and touchpad. So this is from Crowview. It's a 14 inch portable monitor and keyboard that looks just like a Chromebook. If you told me this was a laptop, I would believe you. If you told me it was a, a curvy Mac Air, I would believe you on that too. One side has USB-A, uh, HDMI mini input, and USB type C uh, with the little lightning connector. USB on this side, headphone, USB on this side, and charging. Now, what's interesting about it is it comes with these adapters, which I'm gonna get to in just a second because they're super powerful. Comes with a couple cables. There's a type A cable. There is a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. There's a USB type C to C, which is a single cable hookup if you have an Android cell phone. So if you have an Android cell phone or tablet, you just want something a little bit bigger when you get somewhere, or maybe you're on the train, maybe you're on the bus, and you wanna be able to type some emails on a real screen, this can interface with your Android device. I'm not gonna do that today. We're gonna to show it with an actual PC, but it has a couple other super cool things that it can do. Now, you don't have to plug it in because it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in it, which should last, honestly, several hours. I'm gonna take this computer and I'm going to take the mini HDMI and I'm gonna plug the HDMI to this, this side and I'm gonna use this as if it were a portable monitor. So I'm gonna put the mini on this side of it. Okay, so that's one required connection. Then I have this strange USB A to A cable. So this cable has a USB A port on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Then I'm going to turn this towards you and you're going to get to see what this thing does, which is pretty slick. And by the rule of USB, you plug it in one way, it doesn't fit, you switch it around, it still doesn't fit, and you go back the original way and then it will fit. And then we're going to open this up. Now, what does it get but a full feature rich keyboard, it's got a Windows key, it looks by all measure to be a traditional laptop. It's got a really crisp screen. It has the screen protector still on it. I haven't taken the screen protection off of it. So it sees that it has a video signal coming in. And there is my Dell logo. So it looks like this would be a Dell laptop, but it's not. It's literally just a keyboard, a mouse, and a portable monitor that can plug into anything. Now you could use this for a variety of deals. If you had a Raspberry Pi, for example, one of those mini computers, it actually has adapters and I'll show you what they look like real quick. So if you have a Raspberry Pi 5, it has a built-in adapter for this. So you can basically take that, plug it into the side of this unit, plug your Raspberry Pi into here. It has a protective back for it. There's a power um, adapter here to give your power to your Raspberry Pi. And you now turned your Raspberry Pi into a laptop essentially, which is really slick capability as you see right there. So overall, check a look at that screen very bright. Yeah, there's some brightness drop at an angle here. Supposedly this is an IPS screen as well. It's a 14 inch, but it's 1080 and it's super bright. I'm going to turn the brightness down a little bit and that GoPro is just catching up. So there you go. You can see that I'm running a desktop computer. This is a Dell 9020 with an i7-6700 in this computer, but it's running the screen and the keyboard and the mouse and everything off of this device. So if you're doing, you know, just PC repairs, if you have a rack like uh, Zachary does there, and you just wanna go down to a server in the rack, if it has USB-C, this would be amazing because it's a one cable hookup. You just hook your USB-C to this, you hook it to that. The other thing is it doesn't require power. So I'm gonna unplug the power to this. It's not USB powered alone, but it has a five amp hour battery in it. And so it's actually able to be a portable screen with a battery in it. Now you could also play video games like an Xbox on the screen or whatever. It's just a portable monitor, but then you also have the capability of the battery pack in it. And if you did run it with a Raspberry Pi, it could actually power the Raspberry Pi, which is really slick. So a couple things that would be nice. I did already clean this one up. Let me show you on the top down. So I have this uh, peel right here, which can uncover the screen. I didn't want to do that yet until I'm ready to do some of the monitor tests for it, but it does have this touch pad right here. There's actually a cover on the touch pad. I can't get it off because it doesn't have an edge that you can put your fingernail under. So I've just left it on the touch pad because those get really greasy and dirty all the time. So I've just kept it like that. So this is from, again, Crowview. 